So if I asked you what the deadliest creature on Earth is, what would you say? What about rats? Those little creeps can give you a nasty case of hantavirus. Monkeys infected with Ebola? That is horrible, but no. How about rabid dogs? Nope, it's not dogs with rabies. But seriously, do not go near them. No, the most dangerous animal in the world weighs two and a half milligrams, and you can kill it with a rolled up newspaper. The most dangerous animal in the world is the mosquito. Mosquitoes carry deadly diseases like malaria. There are about 7 billion people on the planet and 3.2 billion people at risk of contracting malaria. 198 million people were infected with malaria in 2012 alone, and an estimated 584,000 people died from it. That's almost the total population of Las Vegas. And it's not just malaria. Mosquitoes also spread West Nile virus. There have been an estimated 40,000 cases in the U.S. alone. The insect also carries dengue fever, which kills about 22,000 people every year. And now, mosquitoes are spreading a disease called chikungunya. It's already been reported in 47 states. At the Centers for Disease Control, they are fighting back against the mosquito. The CDC brings a lot of firepower to this fight. It has a $6.6 .6 billion budget and 15,000 employees who work with some of the most high-tech medical equipment on the planet. But despite all that, their best tool in fighting malaria is definitely low-tech. At the CDC, these guys have their own skin in the game. About 500 to 1,000 mosquitoes bite me per week. In order to keep these mosquitoes alive, I'm feeding them on myself. Uh, they'll use this blood to make eggs and, and to make babies who will grow up and then feed on me as well. <laughs> Paul Howell is a scientist at the CDC. This man knows his mosquitoes. He collects them. He studies them. He sleeps with them. And every week, he feeds them on his own blood. Uh, I can feel them actually uh, inserting and probing the, their little mouthpiece, but I've been bitten many times, so I don't feel the pain that most people would feel when the mosquito bites them. The number one thing that everyone tells me is that, why do you keep mosquitoes alive? Why aren't you finding ways to kill them? And I explained that we actually have to keep them alive so we can find better ways of killing them.